Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, Lagos. Welcome back to Saturday Brunch with your just truly Miracle OP. I'm your host with the most, and he's always going to brag about having the best French toast. And that is still a call out to all you celebrity cooks, all you private cooks, all you kitchen cooks, all you home cooks too. You can get the smoke. Come on the show. Let's have a conversation. Let's eat food. Mm. But I always got to give a shout out, a special shout out to the House Chronicles for giving me this amazing platform to talk my shit, to push my pee. Make sure you follow them on all social platforms, Twitter or X, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. We have our email too. Send us an email, especially all them food vendors. Send us an email. We're still looking for sponsors for the show. Hit us up on email, on Instagram. DM us. Don't be scared. Make sure you also subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Ring that bell. Hit that notification button. On to our guest. For today, we have family. We have blood. We have slime. We may even have twin, like the kids say today. Twin. Where have you been? Nobody knows me Stop. like you. This is why you stop. Nobody this is why you stop. can help me cry. Like, it's my show. Yeah. Yeah, even family gets that treatment. It's my show. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, we have, I don't know where to introduce her by her stage name or by her real name. We have H.A. Red in the building. Miracle is Red. H.A. Red in the building. You know the vibes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have family in the building. And um, always on Saturday brunch with Miracle OP, we got the brunch. We got the best yeah. coffee food in the house. Best conversation food in the house, I believe. Best. Ice cream and cake. Whew. And you can tell from ours, our guest started before the show started. Ooh. That's all good. That's all good. And that's also a shout out to mm. all you food vendors out there. Come on the show. We give you a good platform. We have a conversation. We eat your food. And we give a review on the food, too. I made this cake and the ice cream from scratch. Believe what you want to believe. I made this shit, bro. And it's nice. I'm loving it. Baby girl, how have you been, bro? I've been good. Good? Very good. You made the cake and the ice oh, cream. Oh, yeah. Big time. I'm a baker. Okay. You don't need to know that. I have okay. a secret life that you don't know about. I'm your family. It doesn't matter. Okay. So family doesn't know everything. Right. Facts. You make Facts. it. You I'm make a baker. It. Yeah. And I make ice cream on the side. It's delicious. Thank you. That's what you're going to say. I don't doubt my skills. Okay. And I made the wine too. <laughs> right. Out of vineyard. Okay. Big boy shit. <laughs> Big boy shit. Yeah, baby girl. Nah, but baby girl, you know I'm always worried about you. And I always say this. I need you to be stronger than me. I can be stronger than you. Bro, you have to, bro. I need you. I need you, bro. Uh, I need you. Everybody says I'm strong, so maybe I am. You are. I always tell you, you're one of the strongest people I know, bro. Honestly, you. you are. And you've always been the homie since day one. And I just... I just have to ask you, though. How, how have you been since, you know, the incident? Not so good. Mm. But surviving. Still missing? I don't think I can ever stop missing him yeah i miss him bro I, know why because <laughs> I still remember like every sunday bro me and him just chilling it's just so you have vibing on conversation we still haven't even shared that beer we never even shared that beer yeah together. he was always saying that to you we never yeah. shared that beer together i still remember that and it's it it, it, it was really like losing a best friend yeah, I remember when he friend. always uh, pre uh when you when you were sick the poisoning thing. To, to, it would to, always to call you every to day. And my, and my brother, I still hold a rosary very close to me. I have one in my car. Mm. And it's just, he, he's somebody that will always be missed. Somebody that will always be missed. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. How, how's your day today been, though, mm. since then, though? My day every day has been quiet. Mm. I'm already an introvert. So I think it just grew worse after he passed. I became a chronic introvert what do you mean by chronic introvert like an introvert introvert like always in the house always 24 7 24 7 
you, you can't find me outside. Even if I came out, it would just be like four, five, ten minutes. The content stopped back. too as well. Yeah. I stopped. It was, I just couldn't. It you wasn't. You starving your fans. I remember right? when he died, I, I, I was posting a lot like, cause I felt like that would make me just forget, forget. you know, until like it hit me. And then when he did, I just, I crashed. Like for every time I tried to get up, it was just hard. And since then, it's been two years and I still haven't been able to come back to me, you know. People are used to a certain me. I haven't been able to get back to that place. It's been hard. I don't know how to. People say you. I have to find a different way or a different route, but I still don't know how to. And my fans are suffering. Trust me. The ones that are still there are the ones that probably love me, I think. I don't even know, but... The hardest thing for me has been shutting out contents. It's been hard. Bro, that's crazy. I mean, like I said, mm. I, I, I can't compare my loss to your loss, but I lost somebody that day. And so today, I, I don't believe I remembered it. you that day. Bro, I didn't, I didn't want to see him. Bro. Yeah, you didn't. It's, it, you died. I didn't want to see him. Bro. You died. I remembered you that day. I couldn't even see him like that. Like, I remember you running back to the doctor to be like, oh, you got to do something. Like, you can't just say, like, that day was, fuck. I think something in me died. Just, I was looking at, and he was smiling. That was the, I couldn't even explain it. Like, he was dead, but he was smiling. Has it fucked up, like, your relationship with other people? It fucked up everything. Nah. You know, before he died, people, uh, a friend of mine asked me once, what was my greatest fear mm. in life? And I said, losing my dad. Mm. You know, I think a few months before that happened, someone asked me that question. And now it just feels like, well, anything can happen now. I don't really care. Like, there's nothing that can happen right now that will move me. Like, that was like the, that was the biggest, like, the most... <laughs> See, I feel like I'm I'm dead, Sif. I feel like I'm just hanging in there. I don't want to be using that type of language. No, anymore. but like, trust me, I cry every day. Like, I'm not even exaggerating it. I cry once a day. Like, I must cry once a day. Like, I don't know how people that lose their loved ones, I don't know how to survive it. But I haven't been able to survive. If I watch a movie that someone dies, I cry like it's my dad dying in that movie. If I watch a movie that some girl or some guy is disrespecting their dad, I just want to strangle them because I'm like, your dad is looking at you in, like he's there, he's looking at you. How are you disrespecting him? How are you not loving him? How are you not just enjoying that moment? Like, I know it's just a movie, but I just feel like strangling the person. I can't stand, if you're my friend and you're disrespecting your dad, I can slap you on the spot. Like, I don't even care well, who you are. Me, but you may not know the relationship. I don't fucking care. That's like, he's there. I don't care. Like, when people say their dad doesn't mean shit to them, I'm like, I want to kill you. So what if the dad was abusive? I don't care. If the dad was abusive? I'm sorry. I, I'm no, sorry. Maybe on, it's my mindset. On, like I said, if the I'm, dad was abusive, I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Like I said, I'm sorry. Maybe it's I just feel like, I feel like me. relationships. I see different. your relationship was different. Yeah. Your so maybe that's why I, I can't be in the best position position to judge that. Mm. But, but I, I honestly don't care. I like I saying. would slap you on the sport if I see you disrespecting your dad because I'm like, no matter what, he's there. Like no matter how abusive he, he is or how badly oh. behaved he is, you will miss him if he's gone. And that's facts. You will miss him if they call you today and tell you that your dad is dead. Even if he was the worst father, you would miss him. So I feel like I would literally end your life. If I, don't make me watch it. If I'm your friend, don't make me watch it. Don't make me see you disrespect your dad. I can't. I, I, there's no excuse for it. For me, personally, there's no excuse for it. Speaking of friends, how is like your... Since... Your dad died. Has your has been your has your friend circle been? I think I just have one surviving friend left, <laughs> because I haven't been the best of the friends. Friend, the friend I know. No. Not that friend. I lost that one already. Yeah. You, you know, I can, you know, I can hear that. 
What? No, not that one. Are you joking? That's my last my the ride or die. No, you the one that you want that that we that we talk about, camera? Yeah. I I I could have. No, no, no. I could have. I could have. Boy. I boy, could have. Boy. You wouldn't even have smelt it. We're flirts. You, you need to know who you're talking to. See. You need to know who you're talking we, to. We have first class to, in you flirting. Need to, you need to know who you're but you won't even to. smell it. You need to know who you're talking to. <laughs> I know my girl. I'm a different type of man. I know my I'm girl. A I'm not like these niggas you see. I know I'm my like girl. You niggas. will not smell like it. She will flirt with you so bad. You would think. I'm not like these other niggas. She though. will flirt with you and so bad. Shit. Pay for what? Is she? I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even go on a date. If she even, if, even if she even let you, you will feel miserable, because you will feel used, Stop. very I'm just, used. I'm just telling you. You will feel. You will look I and could've. sound like a girl. I could have. Okay. I could have. Let's rest it there. I chose not to. <laughs> I chose not to. I could. Boy. I had it in my hands. Boy. Right boy. I chose not to. Boy, I want you to know that. Okay, I chose not to. Let me just let you see. That's that's the thing. Let me let your ego. Let me let me let me let let me just let you have this one. There's no need to argue. High standard men, we we don't need to. We're flawless. We age like no words. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna have this argument. I'm not gonna have this argument. Smooth like whiskey, rough like a Cuban cigar. As flawless as a boy, dog. your child. We're Olympians. <laughs> <laughs> we Olympians, baby. Okay. <laughs> Michael Phelps in that let pussy. Me let, let me let you win this one because Michael Phelps in that pussy. Yeah. Okay. If you think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But speaking on that, how's your love life, though? Dry, very, life. very dry. You know, it's funny. People think that maybe because of how I am. My love life is just smooth. It's very dry. Do you think your divorce fucked it up? My divorce? No. Why? I don't know, because it was very, very public. And you haven't even talked no, about it. No, that happened. Anymore. My divorce happened way before. Or my separation, rather, happened way before it divorce? went public. Uh, by the books? No. So technically, you all are still married? Mm, technically. <laughs> Technically, you're I, still I, I mean, a married woman. When you say you're divorced, it means you signed papers, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, I, I haven't signed. I, I believe the judge is like you're divorced. Yeah, you signed you're papers. Single. Yeah. Go fuck other people. I haven't. I don't even know what a divorce a divorce paper looks like. I haven't seen one before. So I don't think. I've... Are you still a married woman? But they say after three years of separation, you're you're as good as divorce. Right? I don't. I do not know. Do you know the law? Producer, do you know the law of, of the state of Lagos? When it comes to, please don't Google that. You're still a married woman? I did not sign any paper. That's Hold all I'm on. saying. That is all I'm saying. I didn't sign any paper. So if divorce is by signing papers, then I'm not divorced. So you're still married? Or you're separated? Which one? A, a separated. That should be the term, right? I'm so confused right now, bro. Why? Why? I think I need a lawyer on the show. We need like a house (laughs) lawyer or something. But not that serious now. It's been what? Five, six years? I mean, but that means that you can't marry another person unless you get divorced. Well, the other party is very the other party is very married right now, isn't he? So I I I think I I should marry if I want to. Not like I want to, but that is crazy, bro. Why? When you find happiness, you you Take it. Bro, I just... With it. What, like, what, what the fuck, like... What? From the outside, from mm-hmm. when I saw you guys, mm-hmm. from the outside, looking in. You know, like, you know, you know, as a young... I, when I was three, like, I was very fascinated by another routine. So looking at him, you know, seeing him on TV, I was like, oh, you know, just trying to grab some wisdom, you know, here and there from a veteran of the game. So from the outside looking in, I always thought it was nice, but... I guess that's what people say. The outside is not always what is within. Yeah. So what the fuck happened, bro? Nothing. It just didn't work out. It was a marriage built on the seat, so there was no way it was going to work out. 
What do you mean by built on deceit? Like, English language. Deceit. Like lies? This, uh, deceit is lies now, sir. It was never going to work out. It was never going to work out from day one. It was gonna, it was gonna fizzle out at some point. Did you know that before you got married? Mm. Like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like, as human beings, sometimes because of love, we tend to ignore. No, red no, flags. you know that in in Nigeria, I wouldn't say in Africa because I've not been to other parts of Africa. In Nigeria, it's like uh, for the Nigerian woman to find a man and get married to him is. It's golden. Mm. It's something that when you do it, everybody applauds you for it. Mm. So uh, the typical Nigerian woman would ignore the red flags because they solely want to get married, because they want, they like, they want to get married. They would see the red flags, know that this is not even what they can contain or what they can live with. But because they know that being married is some sort of, uh, should I say trophy? Or um, or your winning. Wait, I don't, I don't even know the word. To it, use. It's, yeah. it's kind of like you, it's what's what's the word? It's a uh, it's something you must have to do. Yeah, it's, as a passage of a woman. Yeah, as a so passage of a woman, you have to get they married. ignore all yeah. the red flags in their heads. He would change in their heads. I would change him. So you knew the red flags before you got married. Yeah, I saw them. It was there. It was clear. It was crystal. I remember calling. A week before my traditional marriage, and I'm like, cause me, I'm, I'm, I'm the black sheep. Oh. So, you know, when they're like, I'm like, see, guy, I can take anything. Oh. I can, I can do this thing with you, but I need you to assure me that we can do this. Like, I need you to assure me that I'm okay. I'm safe. You know? And he's like, nah, gee, it's good. We can do this. And we ain't that now. And then you know when they've done or they've no you know white you know white people when you want to get married two days to the wedding so you can decide ah I'm not gonna do was called off I'm done I'm done every time I'm done even when you're about to say I do you can say I'm the one Nigerian wedding when the father has brought this for mother brought everybody's aware what are you saying you're not doing for but you felt that way I felt like right from the proposal I knew that we weren't ready I knew that it wasn't. I remember him kneeling down and me just staring at him. And see, I'm going to advise every Nigerian girl, every Nigerian man, if you want to propose to your wife, do it behind closed doors so you can get the real answer. I did it in public. did it in public. And you know everybody's saying, say yes, say yes, say yes. And you don't want to embarrass Wait. him. Wait. How? Ex please, it's go, just to, typical. go, go Ni to the Nigerian go to the movie. No, no, go to the No, let's do Nigerian movie. You know how they say the guy goes on a one knee and then everybody's saying say yes, say yes, say yeah. yes. And then you if you say if you say no, that was even the red flag for me. None of my family members were there. That I didn't like. Random ass people. It was just his people. That I didn't like from the when that happened. But there was nothing I could do about it. It already happened. And then like I remember only living his family, him. not leaving your friends were there. His family was his friends, basically. Were your friends there? No. My friends, nobody was there. It was on my birthday. We did a party. Everybody had gone home. I'd gone back to my hotel because I stayed in the hotel. No, they were in my birthday, but okay. nobody knew. Like, you know, it was. I. It would just have been ideal for him to have told everybody. Oh, I'm proposing to this girl. Hang around, but I think he didn't tell them. Mm. So everybody went home. I didn't know I was getting proposed to. So everybody went home. I came back to my hotel. I was trying to change, and his uh, uh, friend then was trying to get me not to change. Oh, just calm down. Why are you changing now? And I'm like, I beg, I'm tired. Let me change now. Mm. Let me. I said, no, oh, just calm down. Uh, your boyfriend is in the is in the what's it called lounge. Mm. He's with his friends. Just let's just all drink before we. I said, me, I'm tired. Can't I just go down in Jalabia? And she's like, nah, just calm down. You're looking she nice now. Like dress up. I was already dressed oh, you already up. Dressed up yeah, again, but yeah, I yeah. wanted to change because yeah. I was done with the party. Mm. So I just reluctantly go downstairs with her to the lounge and I open the thing and then some man is kneeling down and there are cameras in my face and he's mumbling some words I can't even, I never even heard because I'm shocked, like, what's going on? Like, I always imagined, you know how before you get married, you imagine, oh, the guy will go down on one knee. Fireworks. Like, 
and then you no just horse. be there, you say yes. So I'm looking at yeah, him that like that shit is real life, man. This is real life. Dude, are you ready? For, are you sure you and I'm looking asking myself, telling myself, nah, you don't hey, want to. It was on a budget. Nah. It was on a budget. No, I'm like, I knew deep down and God sees my heart. Wait, wait, I if wasn't it was ready. in private, you would have said no. I would have said no. I honestly promise you would have said no. So if he did it. Let's say I would have said no. The... Like I would have said no. Like I can't marry you. My no would have been like we're so not ready. So if you did it in the hotel room, you were like no. I think we're not ready. Cause we were not ready. So why didn't you just tell him that after you said yes publicly? Because I already said no. I already said yes. He was already very emotional. Oh, I'm so happy you said yes. Oh, I know your ring is not your size. I got you a better ring. Am I supposed to be saying? Oh, my answer so, is supposed to have been no. So are you saying you stayed with him because of emotional blackmail? No, I loved him. That's not the, but I just knew that we were not ready for that stage. So it wasn't a no, like, I can't marry you. It was a no, like, we're not there yet. So why Give it you, time. So why would you not marry somebody you love? No, we were not ready. The no is, I cannot, and it's not, it's not me, I'm not saying no, we cannot get married. Mm. Is we're not ready to be so there. So what if you told him, like, after you publicly were like, let's just be engaged have you ever loved someone before yeah so do you just tell people that you love after telling them that yes you're willing to marry them they tell them that oh I, I was just faking it because your friends were there the truth is i'm not really ready no i feel, I feel like i feel like especially for let me speak for myself i, I, the I, truth I, didn't, is, know, I didn't know the person but when I when he said when he when after that she was under, of the impression that, okay, I'm proposing to you, but we'll take our time to plan. Yeah. So that was, I was okay with that. Mm. But you know, the night you, you, you're an able, you're an able guy. Mm -hmm. We're both share the same parents. Mm -hmm. You know, once you tell the evil parents that, oh, I found the girl, I found the guy that I want to marry. They rush oh, up so everything. So he told your parents before he proposed? No, he told his parents, obviously. Not yours? That, no, he hasn't told my parents yet, though. No. So your he parents told didn't his know parents. about the proposal? They knew that night when, I said my, my people didn't know. Nobody in your family knew. No, you nobody knew. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah, because for me, the first, like, the first, like the first thing, you yeah, the, the first dad, thing I said you know, to him was, "There's a flower in your dad." Everybody, <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's old. That's olden days. So he didn't do that. Everybody was at the party. My sister, my brothers, my friends. The ideal thing you'd have done was tell them that. So, oh, but they propose. were not there for the proposal. Because you, it's just like it's just like you coming for my birthday party. When you're done, won't you go home? Except maybe someone, maybe my boyfriend comes to tell you that, oh, please stay back. So he didn't tell him? No, he didn't. I thought that's fucked up. Yeah, so for me, I, I, when I, I remember talking about it and he was like, oh, he didn't know. It was the spot of the moment. He didn't think about it. And he, then he, didn't the moment. he always had a ring in his pocket. <laughs> he was walking around with a ring in his pocket like for the entire month. It just happened, just happened to happen. Yeah. A splash of love. That's crazy. Can you though. stop? No, I mean, I mean, who am, who am I? I'm not. I've not been compelled by love like that. <laughs> I've not been compelled by love like that. Mm -hmm. But what was the breaking point? Like who, who? For what exactly? Who said, "Yeah, I'm done." He said it was done. Well, I said I was done like 100 times before he said he was done. But the difference is, or was, I didn't walk away. Does that make any sense? No. I was, I said I was done a hundred times before. Because the marriage was, what, four years? Mm. We we're together for five years. Mm. Marriage was four years. So I said I was done about a hundred times before he said he was done. But the difference is, he walked away. I didn't. But every time I said I was done... I stayed. Why? Because the marriage, you don't just walk away from it. It's, we're not dating, we're married. So he quit? Yeah. Why did you keep saying you're done? What was because the marriage that? was built on deceit. Yeah, but you need to go deeper with that. I don't know. I think that's... All I can say, really, it was just built on the seat. It wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to work. It was never going to work. And I just entered with the, with the thought that I could change him. I could change the situation. I could make it better. 
And that's what we young girls, that's the mentality we always have when we enter marriages, when we see the red flags. We feel like we've been with this person, we can make it better, we can make it work, we can manage. So that was the mentality I entered the marriage with. But instead of it working, it just deteriorated to the point where... What, and like when I say, I'm talking about what aspect, is it communication, is it sex life, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it like... Is everything. Physical connection. Everything. Are you smart at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> everything was just wrong. Like I said, it was... If, if, okay, okay, okay. If, if, if it's, let's rank them. Because mm. I said a lot of things. <laughs> let's just rank them. Why are you just finding for, my mouth? Just for fun, let's rank them. Because I said a lot of things that you said is everything. Mm. Let's rank from most important to least important. Mm. Um, just nod your head for one, two, or three as in order. Okay. Uh, communication. What, what rank is that one? I just said I should nod my head, so I'm nodding my head for everything. The ones that it's not there, I'll not nod my head, Abby. The one that is not important, don't nod your head. So I'll rank okay. it below. Or the one that is not there. Let's do the one that is not there. I should not nod my head at all. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Communication. So y'all were not talking. We're not communicating. So y'all were not talking about shit. We're talking, but we're not communicating. So y'all were not like intimate. Okay. <laughs> I know the next one to say. <laughs> um, sex life. God damn, that was such a heavy nod. Was so <laughs> it was the same nod. That was like a 50 pound <laughs> weight on my head. Yeah, I'm a nod on that. Do you want to get... You know my biggest problem is I'm too loyal. So I'd rather... Me? Cheated, I, I don't know. I don't know if you did. Honestly, I don't know if you did. I don't know if he did. Why are you looking at me like you're looking I'm, for some I'm, No, I'm just, I'm just looking. No, I don't know if he did or if he didn't. He's a guy, so maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Well, how was y'all's, like... We had a great friendship. We're friends. That's not what I'm I asking. want to think I that we're friends. I'm sure, I'm sure. Hmm? For you to say yes to somebody and be with them for that long, you must have been friends we at We were one married. Point. I was trained to understand... The marriage is for life. It's for better or worse. So I was going to stay in that marriage for better or worse. For me, divorce wasn't an option. Regardless of whatever it was, that was the problem. Because I saw it and I entered, so... Saw it before. Yeah, I was there before I entered. Everything was there. Everything I saw in my marriage was there before I entered it. So y'all didn't have a sex life before you married? I don't know what you're talking about, though. I guess that's a story for another day. <laughs> that is crazy. Now, because I say this because I feel like a lot of people are scared of marriage. And I feel like the major reason why a lot of people are scared of marriage these days is they don't want to get married to somebody and divorce, get a divorce. Because when, when you feel like you found somebody and that mm -hmm. is your person, that is your better half, mm -hmm. and you have to divorce, it makes you feel like a failure. It makes you feel like you've got because it we, wrong. Because uh, in our day and age, we're married for the wrong reasons. A lot of people marry for the wrong reasons. And you say you married because of the pressure of society. Yeah, at the point where I agreed, don't get me wrong, I loved him enough to want to be in it, but I knew that there were things that we needed to work out that were very important, and we hadn't worked it out. That was why I hesitated for the proposal, because in my head, those things were more important. I wanted us to fix it. So when he came and said, oh, that I know I proposed to you, but... We could take time to get married. I was okay with it. But you know, Nigerian parents, once you tell them, I found somebody, they're not even hearing that point. What do you mean point. by take time? What do you mean by take No, time? like, he, we went, after he proposed out, he was like, oh, that he's not trying to get married to me in one month or two months or three months. Why? He proposed? I don't know his reason, but 
me, I had my reasons why I was okay with it. Because you never wanted the marriage in the first place. No, you, you keep missing the point. I was okay with marrying him. But I felt like I need, there were things that we needed to sort out first. No, but hold on. You can't say you were okay with marrying him, then say... If because he's a good you, guy. Yeah, he was a good guy, but you said that if you proposed to him privately, you would have said no. I would have said no, because in my head, there are things that we needed to fix. Then you were not okay with the marriage. I ask you again, have you ever been in love? Yes. But if, if so I'm not it's okay with nobody, him, oh. no, 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 no. You're, you're missing the point. Nobody's perfect. Mm. If I say I like you, I love you, mm. it doesn't mean that you're perfect. So if you, marriage is like a huge deal. If you come at me and say you want to marry me, I can, in my head, because I love you, I love you enough to want to marry you. But if I'm being like realistic, okay, he likes to take ice cream. I don't like the fact that you take ice cream a lot. I want us to sit and talk about it. If there's a way you can reduce taking ice cream because it's not good for you. That's us walking through issues that might affect us when we get married. So it doesn't stop me from wanting to marry you. But I want us to have to deal with issues that I know so would what affect were us. The issues? We had issues. Like what? No. Just give, us, give me one. Communication, like you said. Okay, another one. There's an other issues, really. Like what? Are you just marital, like, what people no, do when they're married? Marital issues. Like, well, there's too many marital issues. There's a lot. Like, it's... <sighs> like what? I've listed them. I've told okay, you. Okay, communication. What else? Can you not? I've told you. It's just normal um, issues you have with the people you're dating. I just, they were like. Uh, yeah, something deeper to this story that you're trying not to say. I don't know. See. Whether you're trying to kill his pastor career. You know, you don't want to kill that. I don't know. He's a pastor now, isn't he? No idea. I have no idea what he is. You don't even follow up with like, you don't even know. I don't know what he's doing, how he's doing. I haven't seen him since the day he walked out. I haven't bumped into him. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know what he smells like. I don't know anything about him. We've all moved on. He's married now. No. Do, you Last regret, time I... do you regret it though? The marriage? Yes, of course. It was wasted years. Of course I regret the marriage. How many years in the marriage? Five years of my life. That's a lot of Five years. Dude, I would have married somebody else and probably had two kids by now. I wish I have kids. I wish I have kids. Because trying to have kids now is just scary and annoying. So I really wish I had kids. Do you think you would still have kids? Yeah, I will. I'm looking into it. Sometimes I won't even start. I'm working on it right now. You mean you're working on it? Like insemination or? I don't know how it's going to happen. Doing a natural run. Most, this, this year. You have to get pregnant? This year. But you're a bugging bro. <laughs> you're a bugging. To. Well, I have to because the year I'm, not, is I'm, not, over. I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm not looking at getting married again. If it happens, fine. But it's not, I'm not at that age where I'm like, oh, I must find someone and get married to. Mm. If it happens for me, splendid. But, but regardless, I know for a, a fact right that. Here, yeah. Boy or girl? I honestly don't care. Oh, you're tired of dogs, Any, anyone my nieces choose. You're a big dog person. Your anyone, dogs my, your anyone my nieces choose. Your nieces are going to choose your gender? Yeah. Oh, no. Don't give it to those nieces. Don't give it to those girls. Because I don't think... I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to yeah, choose. You're obviously going to pick a boy. I think so. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't have a boy in the house. They're yeah. going to pick a boy. So I think that's what I'll Yeah, they're tired of looking at But my house. mom thinks I should take a girl. Nah, boy. Yeah, my mom thinks a girl though. Boy, boy will match your energy. I think so. A boy will match your energy. Yeah, so but well, that's that's in the works already. That but, I want to do. I think last, that's the only thing I regret. I wish I had a child. Earlier. Yeah. Maybe my marriage. But last thing about your marriage. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about like because I know after the thing, a few months after, a few years after, even to today, when you say something or hey, can you say something that trends that goes crazy on the internet like you always do. But uh they always regard you as, oh, his ex-wife. How does that make you feel? Mm. I don't even... When you have, like, your own brand. If I'm being honest, name, no, I don't think they refer to me as that so. anymore. I don't think they do that anymore. Because if I'm being... I, I made him popular. You think you blew his career? What? You think you blew his career? I think so. And that's no disrespect to his career. He's not a very loud person. I'm the loud one. You know, so that's no disrespect to his career. 
I'm, I don't feel any, people don't even regard me as his ex any. I don't, people don't come at me and say I'm his ex anymore. Or like how they used to in the earlier years, you know. And I don't, I don't think there's anything connecting both of us anymore. It's been long now. It's been, anybody that's bringing it up now is just looking for clout. Because there's nothing connecting us anymore. Thankfully, there's nothing connecting us anymore. And me and his, who he is, wherever he is. So I'm good. People that talk about it just want to, just looking for gist. So now it's just a phase in your life. Yeah, it's just something that happened. And the part where they always think that I'm the, because of the way I'm on Instagram. And it's just funny, like, it's funny. I laugh when I see things like that, but I'm like, people just automatically think because he's a church boy and I'm the one that flaunts my blessed body on the internet. I'm the one that is, because you hear things like, oh, he dodged a bullet, oh, he did this, and I just laugh because I'm like. He's wilder than you. What? He's wilder than you. I didn't say that, but when they say he dodged a bullet, mm. that's extreme. Because if we really want to analyze it, put it on paper, like draft out everything. Come on now. I dodged the bullet. But well, yet you don't want to tell us this bullet that you dodged. But I'm not going to do that to him. I wouldn't do that to him out of respect I have for him, out of the respect I have for his family and the kind of person I am. Mm. But if we want to judge the matter, if we want to table the matter, I always tell people, the day I tell my story, the day I sit down and say, it's time to say the story, people's jaws will drop. They will be shocked. I don't, I don't think, I'll, I'll, I don't know if, I'll, I, if I ever would say the story, but if you want to say... Will people be shocked because of the sunny image they have of him now? Yeah, and the one they have of me. And it's completely opposite. I don't know if it's, I don't know if the word is opposite, but it's just not what it is. Oh, it's shocking. It's shocking, yeah. I'm just not, I'm, it's not in my place. It's in my place to say this story. I'm not telling myself it's not in the mind. I was about to say, you, it's it just, to you. I'm just not, I just feel like there's no need. Like, I'm used to people getting the, or having the wrong impression about because me. Because I, I won't lie to you, from the outside looking in, you look like the villain. Yeah. I'm, but I'm used to people having the wrong impression about me. Are you so okay having like, that villain character or do you want to No, I'm used. It? No, I'm used to it. It's not, it's not about being okay with it. I'm just used to it. But if that, if that helps the other person in a good way, then I'm okay with it. I'm not going to be that person to tarnish another person's image. I'm not going to be that person. And what is not tarnished? Well, I'm not, I'm never going to be that person that will break someone else someone else down or make someone I'm just I don't know the word but I'm just not that person so I'd rather deal with what I'm used to that's people making me look like I'm the bad person than come out and say oh I'm not the bad person because however I tell that story you're gonna be the bad guy no you're just gonna be shocked as fuck like you'll be like, can you can you, when you're ready to say, it, can you come back on the show and say? I'm going to me. I want to make money now. So everybody's making money of their story. And I come to show and come and give you give you free give you free, free money. I'm family, you brother. But anyhow, no, but I wanted to do that on your show, but you refused now. Nah, don't, don't you're, you're on the show. You're on the show. You're on the show. Say it. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. Say it. Mm -mm. Say it. Mm -mm. Say it. Nope. Say it. Nope. Did you like stuff up his ass? What? Hey, what? 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 She you know the it. one thing. No, no, no. You know the it. one thing I'm never gonna do anymore is defend him. This five, six years, or at the earlier part of our breakup, well, you're still all I did him. was no. All I did was defend him, and I wasn't. I wasn't defending him because I felt like I needed to. But I felt like, regardless of everything that happened, I'm never gonna stop saying that he's a good person. He's mm. a good guy. Mm. In fact, the reason why I stayed in that marriage 
till the fifth year, and I wanted to stay for the next 90 years, was his personality. Mm. If he was faking it, if he was staging it, if he was acting it, mm. I don't know. He's a good guy. Mm. But that was never enough. Like, I wanted to leave from the first year. I wanted to leave for the, from the first year. I would call his mom. She would tell me how it's against the Bible. It's not the thing that God wants. We're praying for you. It's pastors, right? Yeah, the pastors. Yeah, we're praying for you. We'll put you in the devotion. Everything will get better. I called in the second year. We talk. In fact, my parents wanted me. My parents are against divorce. My family are against divorce. But my parents were okay with me leaving. My parents would tell me, Red, you need to leave. And I'll be like, we can work it out. I will call his mom. She will give me reasons why we cannot divorce, why it's not of the Lord. Don't worry, it will get better. And then magically, he says it was done and they were okay with it. Like, I was shocked. Like, it seemed you guys that were telling me every year to stay. So how come your son comes up to you and tells you, oh, he's done and surprisingly, you threw, you threw away God out of the window and what you, God were wants. You, were you a little bit happy? I'll tell you one thing I said, and I regret to date, yeah? I said to him, I said, okay, I can't say the things I said because that will be me telling the story. But I said... Look how she's teasing us. I don't want any of this anymore. In fact, I'm willing to... Us. I'm willing to... I'm okay whatever that's happening in our marriage. I'm good with it. I can live with it. But please don't leave. I remember saying that to him, that I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll take whatever it is in the marriage. I would never, because I was afraid of, like, our marriage was the celebrity marriage. And I didn't want the impression of, because obviously, if, we, if I left the marriage, people would think, it, not, people would think it's my fault till today. People think I'm the reason. So you might people the think, problem. because he's remarrying and you hear people say things like, Oh, he's got he got a better person. He dodged the bullet. Oh, he married a better person. And I just laughed. Did you make money from the marriage? Why am I making money? What's my business with him? Like, did you make money from the marriage? Like, endorsement? Why now? Like, when you have a like, celebrity, that was not even my concern. My major concern was. I'm just asking. I don't even. I can't even remember. That's how I don't even remember. But my major concern was. It's not about remarrying. It's just making sure you don't make. A, Girl, Technically, you're the same still thing I went through. Huh? Technically, you're still married. So. Now, I'm not, but I hear, I, I, I hear. I, from what I know from you, the law. My dad even called when that happened. My dad reached out to his dad, and it's like, oh, I'm, I just heard that your son is remarrying. Uh, there was no, uh, I, we didn't get any paper for divorce. What's the deal? And then his dad goes, because my dad told me what his dad said. My dad, his dad says, oh, that's your, but they're divorced already. Your daughter signed the papers. And my dad is like, sign what papers? Oh, my son sat with his lawyer and your daughter for three hours. And she signed the papers. And my dad called me and I'm like, babe, if I sat down with somebody for three hours and signed papers, won't you, before I even make up and dress up and say I want to go somewhere to sign, I would have called you because I would need you. I would need your opinion. So if, cause he, he, kept on, he kept on telling me, I know, and that's why I was telling him that my daughter did not sign it because she would have called me. So that one just made me laugh because I'm like, so and actual, I wasn't shocked. Because are there actual documents or that was just made up? That was just made up, but I'm not shocked. That's him. I've not, I said I've not set eyes on this man since he, from the moment he walked out of me till today. So when did I sit down for three hours with him to sign any papers? So was he making shit up also in the marriage? If his father said that, of course it was made up. So I'm saying, was he also making shit up in the marriage too? <laughs> but I'm trying to scoop. But anyhow, speaking on enemies, Red has said she doesn't mind being an enemy of the public. Uh -huh. But speaking of other enemies, there's a young lady that has been trending throughout this whole week. You may have seen it. Who's that? I know you're still on social media even though you don't post. Yeah. What's her name again, producer? How do you pronounce that name again? No, no, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. pause. How do you pronounce the name again? Oh, this girl. Shayda Budge. Shayda Budge has been trending. She was on the Honest Bunch podcast. Shout out to the Honest Bunch podcast. I'm a big fan. 
All of us come on the show. All love you guys to come on our show too. Do a collaboration. It'll be fun. Collaboration. Collaboration. It'll be fun. It'll be nice. It'll be cool. Come on now. Hit me up, Nidu. I'm a big fan. I think you're funny. But she was trending because of some bullshit she said online on the Honest Bunch podcast. Let's play it for red. Let's see what we're talking about. Yeah, that's just a short clip of the whole podcast. If you guys want to look at the podcast, please go to the Honest Bunch uh, YouTube page. Go check them out. But I, I don't know whether you you've probably seen that before. I, I watched the full. You, you're not asking me for. for oh no, I'm opinion. asking you for your opinion because I watched this full episode, like I do with other episodes of the Honest Bunch. Like mm. I said, I'm a huge fan, mm. and like all good podcasts. Mm. The topic got me thinking. And mm. also the personality of this episode got me thinking. She's a very interesting character, isn't she? Yeah. She is, actually. I'm going to say it straight away. That, that, she's fucked up. She's, she's, she's fucked up. Like, bro, for you to go on a, a big platform like The Honest Bunch and say what you said, bro, you had to be crazy as hell, bro. Like, I, 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 tried, to, I tried to believe that People that actually talk like this don't actually believe this. They, they don't actually believe this. Funny, when I first noticed her, I liked her. Oh, you've known her before this? No, I first noticed when she was, she she used to, I've seen a couple of her content. In content, the past. huh? Yeah, I'm like, oh, she's, she sounds very intelligent. <laughs> no, I'm not going to take that away from her. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about her, her presence. <laughs> No, don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh, no, you know, you know don't get me, don't get like, me wrong. You are so cool, but that but this particular whatever she's been saying that's trending. Do you think she believes that shit she says? Uh, no, no, no. This is my only. This is my only thing on this, bro. And mm-hmm. and and people need to understand when I use this terminology at the end. She went on the Honest Bunch podcast and she said she basically made her value of a man to be about money, materialistic stories. She wants money from a man. That's a major thing for her. And this shorty said, grown ass woman said on a popular podcast, if a man can give her 15, 20 million naira, she would have sex with him for a week. I'm so sorry, but. Where I come from, I don't know what generation we're living today, but ladies and gentlemen, that is called a hoe. <laughs> she's a, she's a, I that's, tried, that's the definition I of a hoe. You I have a to, price for your pussy. Wait, I try to understand people when they talk, not necessarily the things that come out of their mouth, but just to hear, just the reason why they're saying what they're saying. Now, I can't disregard the fact that she's very intelligent. Has nothing to do with what she said mm. on that podcast, but hearing her talk, she's very intelligent. But I, about I, the things I can't agree with you with that. Bro. Here, me personally, is a personal opinion. But here, the things she said in that podcast are very mind-boggling. Extreme, yeah, very extreme. But I also want to think that maybe she was just trying to trend, and then it could be that. Yeah, when you meet a guy for the first time, uh, you're not gonna build him. No, of course not. I I think it's. That I don't even crazy think. Talk. I don't even think. I'm not if, saying if you, don't, if, don't if look at a guy. A guy for five. No, if you build a guy at the start of a friendship, it's tacky. It's very it's, tacky, bro. It's very tacky. If, even if you're going for in his fact, money, if a guy, like, if a don't guy, make it so obvious. Yeah, if a guy has to even take you seriously or even see you as wifey, not even wifey. As Babe. something to even write home about, have yeah, have anything to do with. Mm. You need to even if you know you don't have, you need to act like you have. Class. The minute you act like you don't have, and that's with the billing, 
You just bring yourself I, I, to I, the ground. I feel, I feel the word you're looking for is class, and I feel like no, it's not even class. It, class bro. is still very class is still secondary. Like just normal. <sighs> Sorry, everything she Wait, said. Every, everything, words. No, everything she said cringed me. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like there's, there's something more she was trying to say. But her delivery was very poor. I w- see, it was extremely I w- I w- poor. I, w- I, w- I would say there was some sense to what she was saying in the sense of financially... When you're looking for a man, yeah, financial find, find a financially is important. stable person. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. But, but the but, but the when billing you move part on to say your if someone can give you that's 20, a bit extreme. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that, a bit that, extreme. That, that, that's uncalled for. I feel for, like uh, personally, I feel she's young, and then after a while, she'll probably realize the mistake she's made. Now she she about to be single for a long time. No, she won't With be. With that type of mentality. No, she won't be. Trust me. But you see, that's... You that, men, and I agree with you. You men are hoes. The men that, that, that encourage this behavior, you're the problem. Like, y'all are part of this big-ass problem. You're letting these shorties come on these public platforms and talk crazy. I just feel she was then trying Then they're going to pull out receipts of you on your knees. The girl is young. Yeah? First off. We can't even rule that out. Because a mature person learn it. I don't want to say learn it because she sounds learned, but a mature person wouldn't air that out. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you believe Even that. if that's what she... Yeah, yeah. Because she is not even... She's not filtering anything. She's yeah. saying it as it's coming. She doesn't even... Uh, yeah. And that's where she's wrong. I don't want to use the word wrong because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not in a position to say what's wrong or right. But I feel like... See, the guy is self that would drop that 20 million and 30 million and 50 million. Don't like very loud girls. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Don't like I girls that are very loud. Yeah. Like loud girls. And girls that actually get that kind of money, don't talk they like don't that. They don't talk. Yeah. So I feel like it's more of the content thing because that's what's ringing now with you know young... Like that? that do what exactly? They begin at 20 a.m. Of course. That's crazy. That's do they, small do they, money. Do they, do they need like somebody to take care of them? Give them massages? I know like... Women these days, they have cuddling problems where they can't sleep at night because they feel lonely and it's cold. Those kind of girls are not Those kind of girls are not lonely. Huh? They're not lonely. Listen, you don't know. Ask, I'm telling you. Ask if and you shall receive. That's what the Bible said. Ask them. So I don't, what services? I'm free. Oh, to do what exactly? Just to hold them, mm. cuddle them, mm. tell them they look nice, they smell good. So you think the girl that bedtime earns story. that much money Three is looking little for... Pigs. So that's all you want to offer. You see, women with that caliber, hmm. that is what they, that's all they need. They need somebody to yeah, just Yeah, but is that them. all you have to offer? They already have money. Why do I need to give them money? It's they not, don't need my money. No, they don't. It's not about money. Exactly. So that's all you have to offer. I cook. Apart from money. I cook hmm. very well. Hmm. I, 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 I'm an aggressive painter. Painter. I'm passionate about painting. What? I bake. What has that got to do with? I can make ice cream. Okay. Come on now. All right. I'll rub your back real good. Okay. Different types of lotions now. I have all of them. All right. From cocoa butter to lemon. You, you guys are... You've never right. smelled lemon lotion in your life, have you? I haven't, actually. Yeah. Ask your friends. I got it. Okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. But, nah. She's wilding anyways. She's wilding. I just feel she's young. I don't think she believes what she's saying, though. I don't really I just she feel. Is. I feel like she needs to just get back to that first part. Where she was just spitting words and she was... Because I liked her, honestly. She makes, like, really she good was content. Making, I yeah, don't know her she, before. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple of her contents mm. before now. And I'm like, oh, okay. She's very intelligent. You know, and she's some, she will say, she mm. doesn't come for you. But she didn't except sound so intelligent come for her. Sure. That's not a very intelligent thing to say. I agree with you. On camera. I agree I'm not even going to say it's nice it's not. But then again, she has a reason. I'm, I don't know. See, I'm very bad at judging people. Mm. I think that's just it. I'm not going to come mm. on camera and start to judge someone. Mm. They have their reasons why they do what they do. Mm. In fact, I'm on, on camera, I'm a prostitute. I slip around. I made, I'm everything bad. But when you meet me in person, I'm not the same. I'm different. So that's why I don't know how to judge people on camera. Mm. Like they say, it's the silent ones 
Yeah, we're doing the most. But well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how we're going to end the show for today. I've been your host of the most, Miracle OP. And it has been Saturday Brunch with Miracle OP. And we've been honored and privileged and embraced mm-hmm. by your presence, Red Ete. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Claps in the background. Come on. It's been a great episode. It's been a great episode. We've had some great wine. We've had some ice cream and cake. And I hope you enjoyed this show too. Tune into the next one. Yes, yeah. babe.